like to do is show you guys how to graph h of x equals 2 times the absolute value of x minus 8. Now to do this problem, the main important thing that I think is easiest to do is to understand what the parent function is of an absolute value function. So the parent function is what we call absolute value of x equals, or h of x equals the absolute value of x. And what I mean by that is this means whatever numbers I plug in for x, I'm going to take the absolute value. So if I plugged in negative 2, the absolute value of negative 2 is going to give me an output of 2. If I put in positive 2, my output is going to be 2. So my graph is going to look like this, where positive 1, 2, where if I go positive 2, it gives me an output of 2, and negative 2 gives me an output of 2. Now, for this graph, we're going to have a, actually a stretch and a compression by multiplying by 2, because I'm going to forget about the 8 right now. But if I just look at this 2, what that 2 is going to do is that's actually going to multiply it. So let's just take a look at this. If my normal graph of an absolute value function, let's say absolute value of x, x, y, let's just do like negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Well, it's going to give me the positive values, right? Well, if I do 2 times absolute value of x, that's going to multiply all my, my output values by 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to vertically stretch my graph. So if I did an xy table, I'd have negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. But now I'm going to have 4, 2, 0, 2, and 4. So what I've just done now with my equation is instead of going over 2 and going up 2, I'm going to go up 4. So whenever um, you have a graph, that, or whenever you have a function and it's going to be multiplied by your multiplier um, 2, what that's going to do is that's going to either stretch or compress your function. And here, what it does is it vertically stretches um, and horizontally compresses our graph. Well, the question asked is, what I need to do is I need to determine what does my final graph look like? Um, so I need to look at this and see what is my other my transformation. Well, if you remember, transformations work in two parts. That's really weird. I have h of x. Testing. Testing. One, two. Remember, x minus h is going to test my horizontal shift, and k is going to determine my vertical shift. Well, here, I just have my absolute value back, so I'm not going to be moving this graph horizontally at all. However, it has an x minus 8. And remember, that's the same thing as a negative, that would be a negative 8, which would be like a negative k. That's going to tell me I'm going to have to shift my graph now 8 units down. So I'm going to say down 8 units. So my final graph is going to have a, vert or a horizontal compression and shifting down units, eight units down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then two times up to over four. And there you have it. That's what your graph would look like.